In a huge change of events, my whole gang has dropped me. Well, kind of. We'll get into it today. Let's find out exactly what's happened. And let's continue to progress, but on our own here in Minecraft Prison. Yes, hello, everybody, and welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Prison. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC, the best number one rated Minecraft Prison server. Back for another episode in this brand new season. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying it so far. I, of course, have been having a great time this season. And, uh, you know, things have changed a little bit since the last episode. And now we've had some changes. And we're going to be going over some things which have happened, uh, you know, within, like I said, the gang and all that kind of stuff and exactly what it means and exactly what we're going to be doing. So yes, that's all in today's episode and hopefully a whole bunch more progression. I'm going to have to see exactly what we've got today in order to, uh, you know, move things on. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at it all today and we'll get a load of stuff done in today's episode. Now, first and foremost, you might be able to see that we have ranked all the way up to rank 420. Um, you know, due to that, we've got a whole bunch of tokens, gems and stuff just from mining. So I'm going to go ahead and redeem this tier 20 pouch we've also got a brand new mine it's as big as it's ever been and it's now just full diamond blocks which i have to say is, is quite a nice look i do like you should also have a bunch of keys and stuff to open because i've been afking a decent amount here um on the server and i think i've managed to catch a couple of key alls and you know all, all sorts of stuff so i'm uh, i'm excited to be able to take a look at exactly what we've got today in that regard and uh yeah it should it should be a good one today i'm pretty sure i also have my v kits available to claim so we're going to be taking a look at those here in a second and if we do have that which i'm pretty sure we do like i say then we should have some nice crates to open so let's just take a quick look right now yes we do so I'm going to go ahead and claim all of the V-Kits that we can. I'm going to make sure that I chuck all the armor and stuff into a PV because we do not want to be using that. And we also don't want it to friggin take up my whole inventory space right here. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. We will be opening up all of these V-Kit crates and mystery vaults here in just a second. So that's going to be a super good one for us today. Let's claim this Easter V-Kit. And I don't remember if someone's going to fill up my inventory or not, but screw it. Okay, it didn't. Perfect. All right, awesome. So we've got all of our stuff that we're going to be opening to start off the episode, and then we're going to get into the gang stuff, and then we're going to take a look at where we go from there and all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be a good one. All right, let's make sure we claim all of these robot generators. You know, we've got to get those added because actually robots are something which we've not, not necessarily overlooked, but we haven't actually had as many of this season. And if we'd have had more than we have right now, it would have been huge for us. So yeah, we'll take a look at those here in a second. Let's open up the Mystery Vault V kits. Anything insane from those? I don't really know what the best things you can get from those are. I mean, I'll take all the skin boxes and stuff because these are things which we're continuously progressing. So we do not say no to more skin fragments. So we absolutely don't. Shadow Clone, I feel like we should be close to a level up here very, very soon. But still level one on that one. Um, obviously, it doesn't come in anything other than the top three or sorry, top two skin boxes, I don't think. So we do kind of have to, uh, you know, we have to make sure that we get the good ones there, but that's okay. All right, let's go open all of these relic caches and uh, yeah, we'll then open up the V-Kit crates and we'll see if we can get out of those. Hopefully we can get something nice out of those. It would be, would be cool to get something huge today, but we'll have to just see how it goes. You know, I don't know. I, I, I don't really remember what the best things that we can get out of those are, but we'll, we'll have to see. Um, all right, come on. Give me more Shadow Clone Fragments, bro. I don't know why I struggled so hard this season. Last season was like, I feel like it was such a breeze to get Shadow Clone Fragments. This season, not so much. All right, let's go ahead and open up these V-Kit crates. We'll see what we can get from these. We're going to get some skin boxes, some caches. We'll take all of this. We'll take all the keys as well. Some attachment boxes, not too bad. We'll take it. Come on, we'll take it. Well, actually, the mythical skin boxes are actually pretty huge. Another V-Kit crate coming out of that. So basically, everything else was free. That's what we like to see right there. Um, yeah, we'll take all the skin boxes, honestly, because I feel like that's probably our best chance of actually getting the uh, the Shadow Clone maxed out is probably getting the skin boxes from these. So yeah, we'll take what we can get right now. I won't complain. Um, some more token boosters. Honestly, these token boosters are pretty decent. We can sell these for a good amount unless I, I honestly don't know whether like the I, I don't know whether the quality has gone up recently. I don't know whether you can now get better ones from like the weekly crates and whatever, but I don't think so. So I think that uh, I think those would be very valuable to us. We should look at selling those at some point. Let me open up all these skin boxes and see just how many more shadow clone fragments we can actually get out of these. So let me just spam those through. They're done. Um, how many more can we get? We get nine of them. That might level me up. It doesn't. How does that not already level me up, bro? I feel like we've added so many of them now. Let's see what, actually how far away we are from leveling this thing up because I feel like it should be close. Um, we're still going to get another eight. Okay, so we're not actually anywhere near as close as I thought we'd be, but that's okay. Um, we've got a nice amount of tokens to start us off today. I haven't even opened up the mystery vaults yet, and that's, I, I would say, where you get like the majority of your tokens. So we should be starting with a decent, decent little, uh, little amount today, so that's going to be good. Let me get all of these caches open. There we go. I, the, thing I, the thing I like about caches, but also at the same time does become very irritating, is how many freaking caches you get back from the caches, bro. 
Like you think you're done opening and then your inventory is just absolutely full of them again. Uh, you know, it, <laughs> they, they freaking add up. All right, back to skin boxes again. Let's get all of these open. I don't think you can get Shadow Clone out of the common. So it's only the legendary and mythical, I believe, that you can get them out of. Um, so do we get any there? We get one. Okay, that doesn't really help the uh, the level up, but you know what? It's okay. <laughs> we'll get there one day. We'll get there one day. All right, so now on to the mystery vaults. Let's get all of these opened. We got a whole bunch of bronze ones and a whole bunch of silver ones. These ones, like I say, should help out that token balance quite nicely. Yes, it does. We are now up over 2Q from those. We'll take that very, very much. Cool, so let's talk a little bit about the gang and exactly what's happened there. So unfortunately, this season, my gang weren't really placing anywhere. Um, You know, I, I mean, I can't really like talk. None of, none of this is against my gang, by the way. Absolutely nothing against anyone that was in my gang. This isn't me freaking ridiculing anyone. Um, We basically weren't placing this season. And, uh, you know, some of, the, some of the biggest grinders in the gang were like, hey, you know what? I think I need to, you know, go find a gang where we can place. And I'm like, that's absolutely fine. So we lost a couple of initial members and then I was like, do I replace them? Do we, you know, continue this thing? I was considering it and then like three other people left or whatever it was. So we basically decided to collapse the gang. We're not doing the gang this season, but that's okay. It's not really ever been a thing for me because I don't take the payouts. I don't do anything like that. So it was more for the like guys to come together and, uh, you know, manage to grind out a payout and get some GC and stuff like that. So it's uh, it's unfortunate because it means that I can't say I'm a part of the, uh, you know, I'm part of one of the best gangs on the server. But maybe next season we'll have to fire it back up. But essentially, my gang has basically dispersed. Um, I, we, we technically, like, we don't really have any members left in it now, I don't think. Uh, if we check Gang Info Pepsi, there's like four of us left here. But I think technically another one of those is left. And yeah, we, 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 realistically, we're not going to be we're not going to be placing anywhere with the people we've got. But we gave it a valiant effort. We were still, I would say, within top 10 placements quite a few times. But it has to be five or above to receive a payout. So we wouldn't we were not really that close to getting payouts or anything. So it's kind of understandable. You know, the people that were grinding were putting in so much time and to get nothing out of that is uh is you know is, is is not ideal so i wish everybody that was in my gang the best of luck the rest of this season and beyond you know maybe we'll see some returners in future seasons or whatever but yes the gang is no more pepsi has collapsed and we are no longer part of that running but in prior seasons we've not ever really bothered with the gang so it doesn't really change anything for me you know it's um it, it was only the past couple of seasons that we even picked up a gang and started ranking and stuff like that so it's really not uh it's not going to affect the series it's not going to affect anything else at all it's just uh, an update for you guys because i know that there were some people that do like to follow the gang stuff so uh, yeah, just letting you guys know. But what that does allow me to do is focus a lot more on my own stuff and uh, what we're doing here. And what we need to do is continue to progress and get up the ranks here by ourselves, okay? If uh, if we can't be rich by gang top uh, means, then we need to up our rank. We need to up our freaking prestiges and we need to become rich in those methods. So with all that being said, let's go to spawn and check out what my robots have been doing me, uh, you know, while I've been AFK because theoretically there should be some good currency in these. We got 600 trill in the token robots and we have got 12 mil in the gem robots that's actually not bad at all we actually do get 17 mil a day out of these and i do i am considering upgrading this but i feel like it's a very expensive upgrade i don't know 400k gems is a lot of freaking gems at this point so we'll probably leave that for now and uh we'll work on what we can actually do here in this video so we got 2.85 q we're gonna see where we can put that i can almost imagine that it's gonna go straight into prestige finder but i will just go over all the different enchants that we have and just make sure that we've got everything at the kind of levels that we want them to be at obviously my gang had upgraded a couple of these uh different slots and such so that we can upgrade the maximum level of some of these enchants um but yeah we'll take a look we could max out cluster bomb now that is a token based enchant by the looks of it we could add some more levels to napalm strike again another token based enchant we could go to zeus another token based enchant but to be honest with you guys i'm not really too heavy focused on the token based enchants right now um obviously tokens help but we can probably sell a lot of the stuff that we get uh and get tokens that way so getting token like tokens from mining isn't necessarily the the hugest priority for me so i guess with that being said, I think what we're going to do, let's add three levels of Prestige Merchant. Nice and nice and even, get it up to 15. And then we're going to add the rest into Prestige Finder. Get us another 448 levels there. All the way up to nearly 4,000 levels of Prestige Finder. Now, we need to kind of get that maxed as soon as possible. Obviously, it's a, it's, it's a work in progress. And what I should actually do is I should probably sell. I don't let's let's take a look. Are people actually buying those token boosters right now? I mean, a 20 minute two times is going for 40Q by the looks of it on the AH. So, oh wait, here we go. Two minutes 
third, oh, sorry, two times 30 minutes, 20Q. So I think, oh, 7Q, okay, okay. They're not actually worth as much as I thought they were worth because maybe there's, there's better ones come out. But I could sell them easily for 6Q a piece by the looks of it. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to list those because realistically, I'm not using them anyway. So we might as well list them up, get some money for them rather than have them sit there doing absolutely nothing. Um, now, the other thing which I want to look at is do we still have? Yeah, we do actually still have some coupon balance. Now, I noticed not too long ago that someone sold one crate from the store, like one of the weekly crates was selling for like 200Q, which is freaking huge amounts of money so what i might consider doing here in the very near future is you know getting myself a crate bundle and just selling one of the crates because if that is going to be the way that we can get tokens enough to uh you know actually upgrade the enchants then that's fair enough but i want to make sure that i do it using obviously my in-game coupons and stuff that i've won in game so that uh, we're not actually buying things from the store and doing it that way so i'll have to see exactly the way that we want to do it but i'm thinking of getting enough to buy a bundle and doing it that way because i think that that's probably the best way to do it or actually having think ha having having now just seen that maybe maybe the battle pass is actually the best way for us to do this the battle pass will cost me ten dollars that's not really a problem at all um but i believe soon into here we'll see how soon into here we should at some point get ourselves a uh get ourselves a week yeah level 10 level 10 is not too far and we could actually get that straight away and then we could sell that immediately now i think at some point you'd even get it as a free free reward i don't know how far along here you have to okay level 30 you start getting them as free rewards not bad at all yeah that is something which we could definitely do i think that's probably going to be the one of the most beneficial things for us to do so i think by next episode i'll probably buy the premium pass and then we can get on to selling things and actually like getting some mad tokens now gems wise we got 45 million gems to spend today um we are still kind of i don't know we're, we're there's a lot of different things that we could actually buy um but i'm just trying to figure out what is exactly gonna like benefit us the most at this point i'm thinking it's probably black hole um we obviously do not need shard collector anymore since we're not even being part of a gang and what i could do is disenchant that and that will give me oh it gives me one million i mean i might as well take it right might as well take it. I'm not going to be using it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, well, I guess what we could do is now start investing in other things. So I guess we'll just go ham into Black Hole for now. We could get some Heroic Treasure Finder. Keys have been clutch for us, um, but they don't give us gems. So that is the only bad thing. Now, let's actually open our keys because I completely forgot that we even had a bunch of keys here. Uh, because this should theoretically juice up a lot of my tokens and give me a lot of like openable things that we could use to get even more tokens. And uh, hopefully some some good skin boxes that we'll be able to finally progress our uh, our beautiful shadow clone skin with all right let's open the rest of these and then see what we're left with we actually got another one q from all of that so that was not bad at all that was a that was a good opening got a couple of skin boxes nothing too huge we got a couple of legendary ones do we get any shadow clone we only got one shadow clone out of that so slow slowly but surely we are building up the shadow clone right now the little collection that we've got going it's slowly climbing up there but again we can't get them from these common skin boxes and obviously these are the most common ones so you just kind of have to kind of have to take what you can get there and uh yeah all right let's uh let's see if we get any more out of these mythical ones hopefully we can do we get any more no we don't okay yeah they do definitely seem to be the hardest ones to get this season i don't know whether that is purposeful or like whether it was meant to have changed from last season or whether i just got really lucky last season that is also another possibility um wow we just got four from opening those maybe that's actually the secret method is just open a heck ton of freaking vaults because maybe the vaults is the best way to get them at this point it honestly might be like that might that might have been how i even got them last season i don't know we'll have to uh we'll have to continue opening all of this stuff i think though this should be enough to get me to level two yes it is boom we officially have got shadow clone level two that's actually huge for us right there we will not complain about that at all we've also got a lot of runes here now i don't know where we're at with our runes and could we theoretically uh combine some of these to make something better i think we could because i think if i take this out if we merge these two together where's it gone uh there we go if we merge these two level threes together we'll get a level four then i can put that level four that level four boom level five skin shifter rune and i can take out this bouncy blocks rune and we can merge those two together boom there we go nice and easy honestly nice and easy i keep freaking doing that there we go um all right let's put that in there now we've got a level four bouncy block and a level five skin shifter that's a nice place to be at we've got another two q tokens to spend so i guess we just go in again with the prestige finder it seems to be the thing which is uh you know obviously the most important in regards to gems right now it's literally gems are 
the things which we struggle with the most and we will continuously till the end of freaking time i feel like but we gotta we, we gotta just take what we can and where we can all right awesome so the only thing we've now got left to open are all of these uh relic caches right here i can imagine that we're probably gonna get a whole bunch of relic caches back from these relic caches but what it should do is also give me a whole bunch more tokens, keys, and all that good stuff. So it's really going to be a nice little loot cycle here. And of course, skin boxes, which we'll never say no to. Um, yeah, it should be a nice little loot cycle here where we just kind of collect things that we needed anyway. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll open up all of these, get all of these done, and then we'll see where we're at after that. All right, bunch more skin boxes. Let's get all of these open and some more common ones. There we go. Add all of these up. Wait, did we did we just complete a skin? I think we did. Yeah, so we've already completed the eye skin. So that's uh, interesting to know. I didn't realize I was that far into any of them, to be honest. But there we go. That's one complete. Got another 500 trill to spend here. Let's just chuck it straight onto Prestige Finder. Might as well. Probably have a whole bunch more keys here, which should give me even more tokens, which we can chuck straight straight into there as well prestige finder again it's just a, again it's just a cycle look at all look at all the stuff we get out of keys all right another 700 trill to add after that as well another 100 and something levels we're getting there now we're actually getting very very close to maxing that out which is huge that is uh obviously what we've been working on a lot but then as soon as we max that out we've got so many more levels of prestige merchant to go that is not even funny so yeah we're gonna we're gonna have a lot to work on but I think that is where we're going to leave it today. I've progressed a decent amount. I basically just need to go on like I have been doing and uh, continue mining here because the more prestiges that I can mine up, the more gems we'll have to spend and then we'll be able to get all the really, really cool enchants. Um, I'm going to look into what we can do about the crates. I think the battle pass idea is probably the best one we have. Um, I think it's the best chance to get free weekly crates and uh, an opportunity to get a lot of tokens as well. So yeah, I think that's probably our best idea and best uh, method right there. But guys, that is going to be it from me today. The gang is no more. That was kind of the point of today's episode to let you guys know about that. Guys, um, if you have enjoyed this episode at any point... Wait, I didn't even do a giveaway. All right, let's do a giveaway for the late people, shall we? If you're still here at this point in the video, congratulations, because you've made it to the giveaway. Guys, all you need to do to enter this giveaway, okay? I'm going to add a special, a special little requirement that technically isn't listed in the Discord, so you'll only know this requirement if you got this far. I'm going to give away one of these package of three mystical crate bundles, okay? This is what I'm giving away right now. It's worth $65. All you guys need to do, like this video, subscribe to the channel, comment your username, and in that comment, also include the word late. So put like uh, your username and then the word late. And that will make sure that you're qualified. And then you need to go into the giveaways only Discord and press the enter button in there, okay? So as long as you've done all that and you've made sure to include the word late in your comment, then you will officially be entered. So it'll only be you guys that made it this far in the video that even know that that's a requirement because it's not going to be listed in the Discord. Um, so yeah, good luck to everybody who does enter that, guys. That is going to be it for me today. Hopefully you have enjoyed and I will see you all in the next episode of OB Prisons here on Akuma MC.